The 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was just awarded to Susumi Kitagawa, Richard Robson, and Omar Yagi for their work on the development of metal organic frameworks. Metal organic frameworks, also referred to as MOFs, are crystalline materials that exploit the way that metal centers and ligands bind together with specific geometries to form an organized array that contains large cavities. And because nature abhors a vacuum, these cavities are packed with counter ions and solvent molecules. Unfortunately, the first generation of MOFs developed by Robson were not too robust. And although he was able to demonstrate that the contents of the cavities could be swapped out after synthesis, the superstructures themselves would also start to fall apart. Kitagawa's work focused on ways to stabilize these systems. One system he developed had open channels that made it easier to reversibly fill the structure with various gases without damaging the moth. Another idea was to develop flexible moths so that when the cavities are emptied, the shape can change and the structure not be riddled with large voids. And Yagi, he demonstrated just how flexible moth design can be, generating entire families of moths by simply tweaking the structure of the ligands. And it is this flexibility and design that is the true strength of metal organic frameworks. Changing the size of the cavity and the nature of the ligand can select for specific species. Their ability to capture and release gases could provide a means to store hydrogen, sequester carbon dioxide, or even harvest water from desert air. And finally, they even have potential applications as catalysts, as the way that two molecules react when confined inside a cavity can be very different to how they interact when in solution or the gas phase. So congratulations to Susumi Kitagawa, Richard Robson, and Omayagi on their well-deserved Nobel Prize.